on Buffalo. And it's the Bills who lead that one late in the second quarter. Josh Allen has a touchdown pass. Let's stay in the AFC East and head across the state to see what the Jets are doing at MetLife Stadium. And in that one is the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. Todd Gurley with two touchdowns there. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. Let's see what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And that one all even as they play the visiting Texans. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. You got no need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On first and ten, it's Mostert. Fights loose. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's going to have a Niners first down as good running gets him to about the 44. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. That was an example. Excellent defense there. They stumped them. So now he brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Rookie Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguar offense ready to take over. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. A give to the fullback on the dive. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And quickly, they get to the line. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Again, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down at the 
48-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll run on first down. Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Lawrence. And connecting here with D.J. Shark. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And now they're in the hurry up. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Caught here by Bell. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I wonder why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, Lawrence. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Bell. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? out Lambo to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a tight game after punting last time. To see if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. On second down, Moster. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
81 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and 10. Draw play. Garoppolo gives to Mostert. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. This one caught by Kittle. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Garoppolo. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Now he's got it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. They hand it off to Moster, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Sermon. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. And now we'll get a timeout. Looks like we've got a Jaguar in some discomfort down there on the field. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. We'll check on his status when we get back. Mostert. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Jacksonville as they get ready to go and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one 46 yards to rushing for him now to this point well partner I know this type of running back I mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. 
he throws there incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Gotta try it here, he's back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And Lawrence gonna smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. Now Lawrence on first down. Complete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run with Barton, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. On second down, it's Bell, and he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is not game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. And they're gonna hurry back to the line now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Flush to his right. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space and let them do what they do. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. On the carry, it's Baudin. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. This is Borden. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Point after by Lambo, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. the touchdown he'll kick this one away 
Here's Richie James on the return. And a nice return sets him. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Back to throw, Garoppolo. That's complete out left to Ayuk. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. To throw is Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. And the right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it's looking like the Jags are going to win this football game. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Here's Bonin. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Heavy set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And this play comes to a hold at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. This will be a win for Jacksonville. And this coaching staff, CD, I think you'd agree, pleased with this overall effort. I think they're more than pleased, right? They got to look at each other like, wow, we just pulled this one off in a big way. Great job of motivating. Even better job of game planning. They were facing a top 10 defense, so they had to make sure that everything was buttoned down and they had it ready to go, and their guys executed. Yeah, they were concerned not only about moving the ball through the air, but also on the ground. But both really started to come in sync. So for Jacksonville, they continue to put themselves in position for a first round bye as they move to eight and two. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Atlanta Falcons next week. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to three and seven now of the year. And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.